Hey guys, DJ AJ 101 here, and I saw this article yesterday, and I figured I had to make a video for you guys because it looks really cool, and this might actually bring some competition to the cloud storage system. So anyways, Google just announced yesterday that they are bringing Google Drive, which is basically a competitor to SkyDrive from Microsoft, and more importantly, aimed toward Dropbox for basically an online storage place to store all your files, not just your media or anything else like that, but all your documents, you know, your, your Photoshop you know, stuff, I mean, everything. Everything that you want to store there and actually have it be compatible so that you can open it right in the browser without even needing the application on your device or vice versa, or actually needing the software there. So you can actually do all this right from Google Drive, and it kind of has a nice little description here that I'll go down here for you guys. A great video if you'd like to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check that video out for yourself. But basically, they're offering 5 gigabytes of free storage to start out, and yeah, you can actually pay up to 16 terabytes for storage which is kind of crazy they actually had an offering uh, for two dollars and fifty cents a month for 50 or no 20, 25 gigabytes of storage excuse me and they're basically working on apps for iOS for this SkyDrive. Uh, basically, it's on Android right now. It's on Mac and PC through the browser. So you, you know, basically, you guys can check it out for yourself. But I like to click in here just a little bit to kind of give you guys an idea of what it is. Uh, basically, an, it's an access everywhere, everywhere, just like Dropbox. You know, it gives a list here: Mac, PC, iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Of course, are supported because they're made by Google. Uh, basically, store your files in a safe place, just like Dropbox, in case something happens to your Mac, your PC, your devices. You want to have them up in the cloud. Uh, it's basically, you know, Google's whole thing is in the cloud ecosystem all through the browser and through the apps on your devices. Uh, go beyond and collaborate, basically just like Google Docs, that you can share a Google Doc and kind of collaborate with somebody or multiple people. You know, they can constantly make changes to it and everything else like that. So go beyond and collaborate. And, of course, 5 gigabytes of free storage, up to 16 terabytes, which is crazy storage if you really want to pay for, for that much. So, But I'm guessing that they will have more storage options coming soon. But it really depends how, my, how much they're actually going to charge for that storage. I know right now Dropbox is really the only competitor uh, with prices that you can actually go up in your storage you know, realm and make sure that you know you have enough storage for all your stuff. And you know, as the world advances and we really want to put more stuff in the cloud and you know access from everywhere and not exactly have everything on our devices because storage is limited. We don't have terabytes and terabytes on our iPhones or iPads or Android devices yet. So you know the cloud is really a safe way to do this and then you can collaborate with people and share them as well. Basically moving right on to our thing right here, you know, create and collaborate with Google Docs just like I was saying before. Um, work better in the products you use every day. So basically your spreadsheets, your documents, basically it's, it's really Google centric. So it's all around the Google Docs experience. So you're gonna be able to do Google Docs and you're also not just gonna be able to do Google Docs, but since you can share you know, files from like Microsoft Word or Pages or something like that, you're also gonna be able to share those and collaborate on those as well, right through the browser on your Mac or PC, but of course on your mobile devices as well. A powerful search built right into Google Drive. So you can actually search, you know, just like you can, um, you know, in, Dropbox, so it's kind of the same thing, so cool. Uh, view anything. Over 30 file types right from your browser. That is really, really cool because not only can you view, like I was just saying, not only can you view just video or pictures or anything else like that, you can also view like pages, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, Keynote, uh, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop. You can actually view these things right from your browser without even needing the application installed on your Mac or PC or iDevice. Now that is really cool because you don't even need to purchase the software. You don't even need to have the software there. And so it's quite nice to actually be able to do all these things right from there and then you don't really need to have the software installed to actually work on them. So actually having all that support built in for your favorite applications is going to be quite nice. Uh, Google Drive, their favorite apps, and like I was just saying, create, open, and share your files from a variety of applications directly from Google Drive, kind of like I was just saying with Adobe Photoshop. Uh, share any way you want, so you can basically choose who the people you want to have shared with, um, just like Dropbox. You know, you can create a shared folder, share with somebody, you know, their Dropbox account. Um, quite simple to do it that way, so that's a direct competition with Dropbox right there. Start a discussion. You can actually discuss with people, get feedback, collaborate. Um, Basically, it's like, you know, Google, you know, Hangout and stuff like that. You can collaborate right in Google Hangout with all that stuff. And then go back in time. This, I think, is kind of aimed a little bit at Lion and not just at Lion, but at, you know, the feature that Apple announced many, many years ago, which is Time Machine for your Mac. Uh, basically, that you can create a document and that you can actually go 30 days back in time from the time you created that document. If, you know, if you're working on it, you know, multiple iterations and times and whatnot, uh, you can actually go back and, and pick a version that maybe you liked better uh, within the last 30 days. So it's kind of like a Time Machine backup deal and kind of like 
like the uh, autosave thing that they created in Lion, so that you you know would always remember to do this. So it's kind of a collaboration of autosave and Lion and Time Machine Backup. Apple or excuse me, Google is finally starting to offer something a little bit in that realm with the Google Docs that you're actually gonna be able to go back in time and see all the iterations of your document. That is quite neat, um, and I think that's really gonna be a big thing to come. You know, so that's going to be kind of kind of a backup beyond a backup. So not just only are you backing up the thing you're working on, but you also have many iterations of what you backed up. So it's not just you know, oh, the final project that's all I backed up. I can't go back in time and change everything. So it's kind of going to be like Time Machine for uh, SkyDrive, you know, SkyDrive or uh, Google Drive. And uh, you know, it would be nice to see Dropbox do something like that. But uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But that's quite neat. But anyways, guys, I would like to see, you know, and like to hear, I guess see here i guess if you guys want to leave video responses to it but i'd like to hear what you guys think about this it looks very interesting i hope this actually puts some competition hopefully on google's or uh, microsoft SkyDrive and also dropbox and if anything hopefully it'll lower prices a little bit because uh of course dropbox really hasn't had any real competition it's basically the thing that everything uses it's multi-platform you can open it from anywhere and uh, it's right through the browser it's right through an app on your devices so it would be nice to see a little bit more competition come Dropbox's way to hopefully lower prices so that we can get more storage up and you'll be able to store more stuff online and be able to share it with more people. Uh, that would be quite nice. But like I said, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. I will leave a link in the description below. So if you guys want to check this out personally for yourself, feel free to do so. And also leave me a comment if you actually have already used it and what you actually think of it. I have yet to really use it. I just saw it yesterday. I haven't really had time to. But I figured I'd want to make a video for you guys and let you guys know that I found it. Yay, hello. <laughs> but I uh, kind of also hear what you guys think about this. So if you'd like to leave your comments to what you guys think about this article, or maybe if you used it, please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. And if it's really all that it's hyped up to be, I'd love to hear about that too. Also, feel free to rate this video up and subscribe if you happen to like my content. I sure do appreciate that. It always helps me out. Also, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. I kind of make a little bit of everything, uh, you know, videos from this and a text message. Not really important, but a little bit of videos from this. You know, letting you know about new products and new technology that's coming out. Also, unboxings and reviews as well of products that I get and just happen to want to re review for you guys. This is a lot of fun for me, and I hope you guys enjoy it and find it helpful as well. But anyways, guys, I got to answer this text message, and um, I hope you guys have a great day, and it's a nice day outside, so go enjoy it. So, Or it's a nice day out here, but uh, maybe hopefully it's nice where you guys are too. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great one to guys.